Hey everyone, it's Ivan with Kipadger.com out here for another gear review and today I'm talking wallets. This one right here, which is by Violent Little Machine Shop. It is their Kydex shock cord wallet. This is exactly what it sounds like. A wallet made of Kydex and shock cord. Pretty clever, really, really simple. I've actually been using this wallet for, I don't know, honestly, probably about three years now and I figured I should probably review it at this point. But it is really handy, and like I said, it's really simple. It doesn't take up much space. Basically, the space it's taking up is however thick your cards are and however giant your wad of cash is. This will hold 35 cards, apparently. Why you would have 35 cards, I have no idea, but it will apparently hold that many. As far as cash, I don't know. I don't think I've ever had more than $100, so it might hold more. I can't confirm. But been carrying this for a long time. Me personally, I always carry my wallet in my front left pocket because sitting on things is not really conducive to like your sciatic nerve running on the back. So usually carry it there and really easy. Drops in, even though there's kind of these notches along here, which we'll get to in a second doesn't snag or anything like that and it's really easy to use so show it to you more of a close-up as i mentioned really simple straightforward design back here you have your shock cord and you have your two pieces of kydex and the shock cord loops around here through these little notches right there crosses there and then crosses right there and you have these notches down here so you can actually move them but we have example kind of down like that and you end up you're loosening up the shot cord so you can fit your 35 cards in there which not sure why you would do that but on this side with our cross keep that fat stack of cash right there and then as you can see there's a big u shape and a small u shape down here everything is kept in place by the shot cord there and so you have two different sides. So for high use things, maybe a debit card on one side, you can go ahead and press it from the bottom and then grab a hold of this or you're doing it right. Press so mainly just the one comes out, pull that thing out and you're good to go. Or on the other side, usually I'll have my ID over here, but right here, I just have this sweet business card by Noveski. And yeah, easy access to basically two cards. And if you need something in the middle, you can of course shove it, pull this whole stack of cards out and grab whichever one you need. And then with dollars, basically I'll usually kind of fold them in half. Man, so many dollars. Fold them in half, fold them one more time, and then lock them back here. Find the shot cord as such the one on the outside so everyone knows i'm baller after about three years really stoked things still going strong shock cord still has plenty of shock left in it and it's kydex so unlike maybe a leather wallet something like that where if you start sweating into it or maybe it's stuck in a downpour and it gets soaked or maybe you just send your pants through the washing machine this will just come out clean on the other side. Totally impervious to water, all those different things. It's not gonna get all gross like a leather wallet. And yeah, probably lasts forever. Maybe change out the shot cord after like 20 years. But pretty solid, offered in a bunch of different colors. Kind of a local company to me down in Ketchum, Idaho, Sun Valley. Cool guys down there, violent little machine shop. And yeah, bunch of different colors, price-wise about 30 bucks. Overall, definitely a solid wallet. And if you appreciate my content and wanna support it, I really appreciate it. Whether it's liking and sharing videos or supporting me directly through Patreon, all that stuff helps me go out, create more content for you. And if you have questions for me, probably not gonna answer them in the comments section, but over on Patreon, we have active Discord, happy to answer all your questions over there. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.